Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve simple logarithmic equations. Last time, we have uploaded a video wherein we discuss about the logarithmic functions. At ang today's topic natin, we'll focus on solving logarithmic equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So alam naman natin na ang logarithmic function logarithmic equation, and even exponential function are interconnected to each other. So this time, in solving simple logarithmic equations, we will apply our knowledge on how to uh, convert logarithmic equations to exponential form. Kasi yun yung magiging technique natin on how to find the missing term or the missing variable in this given examples. So we have here item number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And right after this discussion, I will upload two more videos para magkaroon tayo ng leveling when it comes to the discussion on how to solve logarithmic equations. Let's start with item number 1. We have here the logarithm of 16 to the base of 2 is equal to x. So again, as I have mentioned earlier, we will use our knowledge on how to transform this logarithmic form into exponential form for us to solve them. So to solve them using exp uh, using the exponential form, we will convert this. Remember, ha, uh, this is your base. Your base 2 will be raised by x is equal to 16. Again, what you will do, we have 2 raised to x is equal to 16. Again, 2 raised to x is equal to 16. So, that is the first step on how to solve that kind of logarithm. Now, sir, how, how can you solve for the value of x? And the way to guys is you need to express them into the same base. If the base of this one is 2 with the exponent of x, we need to express 16 in which the base will be equal also to 2. So, we have here 2 raised to x is equal to, we know that 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. Therefore, we can replace 16 by 2 raised to 4. And as you can see guys, as you can see, we can solve them. Kapag parehas yung base nila, we can, all, we can simply equate their exponent in which your x is equal to 4. This is the answer for it. Okay? So, ganyan siya simply, guys. Yes, sir, how can we check whether the answer is correct? As for the checking, guys, as for the checking, you can have the logarithm of 16 to the base of 2 is equal to your x, which is 4. And then, converting this, this will become 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. As you can see, when you simplify 2 raised to 4, that is also equal to 16. So, parehas na maging sagot natin or tama yung sagot natin upon checking. So again, um, the key here is to transform the given equation in exponential form or the given logarithmic equation in exponential form. Now let's move on with item number 2. If you know how to do this, you can pause the video and then try solving it and we will do this in our way. So let's try number 2. We have logarithm of 27 to the base of x is equal to 3. So first thing you need to do is to write this. So as you can see, this one is quite different kasi yung x natin, yung base. Pero kaya pa rin natin ito as long as tamang process. So again, this is your base, x raised to 3. So we have x raised to 3 is equal to 27. Okay, x raised to 3 is equal to 27. Now, what will happen here is that as you can see guys, this one is raised by 3. So you will think, how are, how are we going to solve this one? We know that 27 is equal to 3 raised to 3, right? So we can have here, x cubed is equal to 3 raised to 3. As you can see, the exponents are equal. Therefore, the bases are also equal. So we have here, x is equal to 3. 
the value of x in item number 1 is simply 3. Now let's have item number 3. For item number 3, we have the logarithm of x to the base of 5 is equal to 3. As you can see, the placement of variable x natin ay magkakaiba. Here, we have after the equal sign. At dito naman, your base is x. And here, yung argument natin yung x. So, sinadya ko talaga yan para magkaroon kayo ng different encounters or ma baka ma-play nyo siya, siya sa different problems sa may encounter niya. So, we have here, again, the logarithm of x to the base of 5 is equal to 3. So, first thing you need to do is to convert this into exponential form wherein your base 5 to the power of 3, so we have 5 raised to 3, is equal to x. We have is equal to x. So again, let me repeat my conversion from logarithmic form to exponential form. 5 raised to 3 is equal to x. And to find the value of x, all you need to do is to simply simplify 5 raised to 3. We know that your exponent indicates how many times you will multiply the base by itself. If this is 5 raised to 3, it will become 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to x. And 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. That will give you 125 as the value of x. And this is our answer for item number 3. I hope na nakuha nyo guys ha. Uh, dito kasi ang key dito, uh, you need to know the conversion and you know how to manipulate the given expression or even use the loss of exponents. Okay, let's move on with item number 4. We have the logarithm of x, base of 32, is equal to 4 over 5. So what you will do here is to convert again. Again, you will convert this. May hirap, di ba? May fraction. You will convert this into exponential form. We have 32 raised to 4 over 5 is equal to x. Again, 32 raised to 4 over 5 is equal to x. So to find the value of x, um, since this one is a fraction, madali lang magagawa yan. Mahirap kasi yung fraction natin na exponent, pero madali natin malulusutan yan. We know that we can express 32 as 2 raised to 5. Check natin eh. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is equal to 4. Okay? This is equal to 4. So we have now 16, and then times 2, that will give you the answer of 32. So again, you can express 32 be equal to 2 raised to 5. Sir, bakit po? Ba't niyo po naisip na? Ito kasi clue dyan, guys. Since we need to eliminate 5, isipin mo, ano ba yung number that you can express into the exponent of 5? And that is 2. So we have now 2 raised to 5 times 4 over 5. Ito mangyari dyan. You will multiply their exponents. Okay? So you can cancel out 5 and this denominator and all you have here is equal to x. At uh, patita na dito guys, since we already eliminated 5 and 5, oh, so again, let me explain. Ano nangyari dito sir? Ano nangyari kasi dito guys, ganito kasi property natin sa loss of exponents. Uh, ibabalik pa lang kasi baka meron sa inyo hindi makagets. Okay? So I will explain it uh, one by one. Yung 32 natin is equal to 2 raised to 5. And then, meron tayong original exponent which is 4 over 5 is equal to x. Ang nangyari, si, uh, meron tayong loss of, loss of exponent, uh, power, power of a power, wherein if you have ex, an exponent here and ex, exponent outside the parentheses, you need to multiply them. So what happened here is that you have 2 raised to 2, uh, raised to 5 times 4 over 5. And multiplying them, uh, simply lang cancel out mo lang to, cancel out mo lang to, then equal to x. Ang matita na sa ito, you have 2 raised to 4. And that is equal to x. Pero, we're not yet done, guys. We need to simplify 2 raised to 4, in which 2 raised to 4 is equal to how many? 16. And your value of x is equal to 16. That's it, guys. Medyo na kanito lang siya kasi uh, lalo na kung di ka masyadong maalam or well-versed when it comes to the loss of exponents. Pero kaya niyan, guys. Let's move on with item number 5. We have the logarithm of 
2x plus 1 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. Sir, paano po yan? Bakit po meron na po tayo yung um, binomial? Don't worry. Uh, this is the process. First, kahit binomial pa yan, uh, you need to express it into exponential form. So we have here 2 raised to 3, okay? Is equal to 2x. Okay? So we have 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. So as you can see dito guys, um, ang gabi lang dito is you need to simplify this and you can have a new equation. What is 2 raised to 3? 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So we have now 8 is equal to 2x plus 1. And then manipulate your equation. You can transpose this to the other side in which when you transpose this, when you transpose this, it will change the expression. You have, or the sign, we have 8 minus 1 is equal to 2x. Now simplifying this will give you 7 is equal to 2x. And to solve for x divided by both sides by 2, cancel, cancel, your x now is equal to 7 over 2. So is it okay if uh, we express our answer in a fractional form? Yes. Okay lang naman yan. Now, if you want to check, uh, pwede naman natin check to guys. If you want to check lang ha, uh, try natin. If you want to check, nagawin natin dito ang logarithm of 2 times your x which is 7 over 2 plus 1 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. So what you will do, pag multiply nyo itong dalawang to cancel, cancel, that is the logarithm of um, 8 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. Where in, kapag express mo to in exponential form, 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. And we know that 2 raised to 3 is 8. So we have now an equal equation. So ibig sabihin yan guys, the answer of 7 over 8 is, uh, is the correct answer in solving this. Okay? So let me erase this. And now guys, I hope that you learned something from this simple video on how to solve simple logarithmic equations. So if, you're, if you have any question about this, feel free to comment down below at kung meron kayong requested topic that you want me to discuss, ilagay nyo rin sa ating comment section. So, by the way guys, uh, we, I will also upload a part 2 of this video wherein we will solve um, logarithmic equations wherein we will apply laws of logarithms. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Bon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!